<laughs> Good, Good morning, Grovers. Good morning, Grovers. Today is a special day. It's an ice cream coffee <laughs> chapel. Well, that's not why it's special. Well, but it's <laughs> a very it's a special ice cream coffee chapel. Ooh, okay, okay, I'll go. It ahead. is a special ice cream coffee chapel, and um, it's a weird day for being a holiday because if you're watching this on Wednesday, today is Ash Wednesday. However, if you're watching it on Friday, we're gonna just call it Ash Friday. Friday? <laughs> Ash Wednesday Friday. Friday. That works. <laughs> we'll do whatever we have to do to be able to celebrate this day. But um, regardless, the way that we we celebrate it here at Oak Grove this year is a little bit different, a little bit weird because, well, no, number one, it's COVID. COVID. Number two, it's an online day, all kinds of things. Um, but Ash Wednesday is an important day in the church calendar, and um, I'm going to let Mevers here uh, tell us a little bit about Ash Wednesday. Like, what what yeah. is Ash Wednesday? Yeah. First thing that I will say, not every Christian denomination actually celebrates Ash Wednesday. Did you know that? What? Yeah, so it's kind of like a by denomination thing, um, but many Protestant churches, we're Lutheran at this school, or our school is Lutheran anyway, um, and so the Lutherans, most many Lutherans celebrate Ash Wednesday. Um, the Catholic faith definitely celebrates it, but not everybody does. So if your church does not celebrate it, you get to celebrate it with us this year. Well, lucky for you. I know, I think it's fun. So Ash Wednesday, what is it? Um, it's a lot of things. First of all, I will say that um, you will never find Ash Wednesday in the Bible. Did you know that? What? <laughs> I know. I know. Because I always like to like go to the Bible first to be like, what is it? Why do we celebrate Ash Wednesday? Well, it, there's never a command by Jesus. There's never like anything that's like, you have to celebrate Ash Wednesday or you're not a good Christian. Nothing. It's not like in the book of Acts and then uh, Peter's like, hey, go get ashes. <laughs> no, oh. not at all. Not even Paul? Paul doesn't no, say that? No. Anyway, it's not the Bible. Doesn't. But what the Bible does call us to do is to repent. Um, and I just want to like take that fancy word and unpack it just for a minute. Repent just means to turn around. So if you're going ooh, this ooh, yes. way, you turn around. That's like the most seared things in seared thing into my brain. Why? Um, I don't actually even know why, to be honest. Oh. Um, but somehow every time I hear the word repent, like it, I must have heard a sermon or something at some point. I don't know. Um, but it's just like continually drilled into my head. And honestly, everybody describes it the exact same way. That's a literal turning around. Yeah. Um, that like when you, when you confess that you have sinned, like it's not a, I confess that I have sinned. I have to literally turn around and go the other direction or else I didn't actually even confess it. Like I didn't yeah. repent from it. Yep. I don't know why. That's literally seared in my yeah. head. And I love, th I love the image of having to completely turn around because... Yep. I can't, Me too. I can't return back to it. Yes. So when you repent, like, it's like you're going toward the sin. Like, this is what I'm going to choose right now. And then repentance means you turn uh, completely away from it. Um, so like it's at your back. It's, it's, it's in, it's not in your past. Cause right. Like, yes, it is in your past, but like those sort of things that we need to repent from sometimes keep coming up over and over and over again. Right. Um, maybe it's a sin we continue to struggle with, but also, um, Sometimes we're just always reminded of our past, which I yeah. think is pretty gross. Yeah. But that is part of what Ash Wednesday is all about. And actually, um, if, if I were to say it comes from Scripture, the place that I would say it comes from is the Old Testament. So there's all those stories, you know, where, like, people are in mourning and they put on, like, sackcloth. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, I love it because the Bible over and over talks about these people that on, put on sackcloth yeah. and they rip it. Yeah. And I'm like, yes. what the world yes. is that? And then they, like, sit down in the ground in the dust yeah. or put ashes on themselves. Like, and and it's a sign of mourning is what it is. I think we should have a closet of sackcloth here in case we're ever having a bad day. Well, have you ever done, had a gunny sack, been in a gunny sack race? <laughs> a potato a sack times, race? Yeah. yeah, it's kind of like that. Like, that's what I picture <laughs> sackcloth to be like. I don't actually know what sackcloth is like, but I picture it to be like that itchy, scratchy brown Like the stuff. potato bag. Yeah. Except I never put potatoes in those. Nobody puts potatoes in those anymore, <laughs> but people used to. Google gunny sack if you need to. You'll, you'll see what we're talking about. But anyway, they would sit down in the dust, um, and they would um, acknowledge a period of mourning, and they would put ashes or dust on themselves um, to acknowledge mourning. And the mourning, generally speaking, not always, but generally speaking, was because of sin. Um, and sometimes it was their own sin, but a lot of times it was because of the sin of the people around them that people would repent and that they would mourn, sit in a morning, a space of mourning. And so that's what Ash Wednesday is for us. It isn't only a place of repentance, but it's also a place to mourn. Um, it's, it's actually kind of like a, a somber day in the church. 
I mean, would you kind of describe it that way? Yeah. I thought I just turned off my microphone. That was really <laughs> awkward. Um, but yeah, the, my in, in all of my years of living, being at a National Wednesday service is always like, I don't know, it's the beginning of Lent. It's, it's yeah. this, uh, this time of, of like, of a shift from this winter Christmas feel to like, like, uh, like an overcoming like sadness almost, um, but like allowing yourself to sit in that sadness, uh, allowing your, yourself to to sit in that need for repenting yeah. and recognizing um, I'm not I'm not a perfect person by any means. Yeah, yeah. And I will also say too, I'm glad that you said it's the first day of Lent because in a literal way, Ash Wednesday is the first day of Lent, yeah. Lent, which is 40 days leading up to Easter, and those 40 days are really the 40 days that we acknowledge um, of Jesus in the wilderness with the devil. <laughs> hmm. And so it's, yeah, I mean, it's it's just a, a kickoff to the Lent season in which we all know, or many of you know that the end of Lent is Easter. Ah! Uh, so we get to look forward to that. Yeah, we do. Um, but we do, we do want to take a quick moment yeah. um, in the last couple minutes of, of chapel today. Um, normally when we when we would have an actual an actual Ash Wednesday service, we would have a, a cup with some ashes that we can uh, put on our foreheads and um, remember that that we are dust and that to dust we shall return. That's what we uh, remind ourselves of. Um, but we're going to do that a little bit different today, seeing as it is COVID and we're all in our separate rooms. Um, but Jess, would you lead us in a like a minute or two of Ash Wednesday? Yeah. I think that I'm good, and then we think that we're good too. Um, but God, um, man, do we mess up. We mess up too bad. And so God, um, we come to you now in need of your forgiveness, knowing God that um, as good as we think we are, that we will never, ever ever be as awesome as good as you are. God, um, but we ask for your help. God, we ask that in these moments now that we would um, come to you, come before your throne with confidence, knowing that you forgive us, and that you love us, even when we mess up. God, and um, we can be real and honest with you. I just love that about you, that I get to tell you all the things that are on my heart and mind, and, and um, you love me anyway. Um, Lord, I just pray that um, during this season of Lent, God, um, that we be reminded that um, we can be proud to be Christians, God, but um, in, in the dark corners of our minds, um, we have a mess. Um, that we need to deal with. And so, God, um, we bring those things to you now. Um, we bring those things to you now, knowing that, that you are here listening to us. So, God, right now, we're going to take these few minutes, these few moments, to rest in your peace and your silence to give those things to you. and forgiving Lord we just thank you God we thank you that all these things that we've given to you that you take them that you help us to turn from them that you offer us a way out of temptation Lord and you love us even in our mess Lord we remember now I want you all to go ahead and open your eyes and we're going to still keep this time as time of prayer with you God but um, we remember now that it's from ashes we came, and to ashes we will return. From dust we came, to dust we will return. Go ahead and make the sign of the cross on your forehead as a, as a symbol of our repentance.
knowing that we are the Lord's, that we belong to a God who loves us and forgives us. And Lord, we just are so thankful for that. We give you this time. We give you our lives. And we turn from the things that do not honor you. Lord, we love you. And we just thank you. We pray these things in your strong and powerful name. Amen. All right, go, go Grovers. Go Grovers. Go Grovers. <laughs>